Okay, this is one of the craziest VR things I have seen in years, and I do a lot of VR. So it's called Neo Fables, and this is a complete AI-generated RPG, including the music, worlds, inventory skills, all that stuff. It's absolutely insane. It also isn't even a downloadable app. It runs off of WebXR, and it currently only runs on the standalone Quest using the Quest browser. And if you know my content, you know I don't even normally cover Quest games, but I couldn't pass this up. It's made by a single dev, and it's just absolutely insane. So we're just going to jump into a new campaign. We're in the setup phase. So let's get started. I want to play as a bard that uses water magic. A water mage bard sounds enchanting. Now, what kind of world do you want to immerse yourself in? Would you like to explore an ancient sea-worn kingdom where merfolk weave dreams, or a floating city above the clouds with rainstorms that tell stories? So we can make literally any kind of setting, any kind of world, and it's going to generate everything around us. Um, but I'm going to do something with Skyrim because I think that'll be fun. Steampunk version of Skyrim. A steampunk version of Skyrim filled with whirring gears and steam-driven contraptions. Now, what is your quest or goal in this world? My father, Todd Howard, has been disgraced. I'm trying to defeat the legendary dragon to bring honor back to the family. The bustling streets of Clockwork City are alive with the rhythmic hum of gears and the hiss of steam. As dawn breaks, so the is, city is all being generated. in a warm, I've never golden seen this before. light, <sighs> casting shadows that dance along the cobblestones. Whoa. You, a bard gifted with the enchanting power of water magic, then, are on a mission to reclaim your family's honor by defeating the fearsome dragon Drogathar that plagues this steampunk <laughs> land. This the bustling cool. market square is filled with vendors selling an array of mechanical contraptions and exotic spices, and the air is thick with the scent of adventure. Suddenly, a familiar face catches your eye. It's Alyssa, a cunning tinkerer and an old friend who might just have the information you need about the dragon's whereabouts. Okay, so you also have an inventory and then it'll show me the different skills that I have. So let's check. I have a, a water loot. Magical loot that harnesses the power of water. Use the caster spell. So that's cool. Let's check my magic. Sea song, a spell invoking the soothing and destructive powers of water. And you'll like gain skills and magic and items throughout your campaign. <laughs> I mean, it's a little rudimentary, but there's so much potential here. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm geeking out a little bit. All right, <laughs> quests. Um, it also does only work with hand tracking, so I know he's working on a way to add controllers to it, but right now it's just hand tracking. All right, let's see, what's my quest? Feed the dragon Drogathar to restore the family's honor. With renewed determination, oh. you leave the bustling market square behind, making your way towards the outskirts of Clockwork City, where the ancient Aww. whispering woods lay. You're aware <laughs> of the daunting journey that awaits you, filled with peril and perhaps allies as oh. mysterious as the tales themselves. The sun climbs higher in the sky, its light flickering through the shifting clouds above. As you approach the edge of the city, the metallic clang of the city gives way to the rustling of leaves and the gentle murmur of a nearby stream signaling the entrance to the whispering woods. Standing at the threshold, you spot a cloaked figure who seems lost in the tranquil surroundings. It's clear that every decision from now on is as meaningful as a note played upon your lute. I cast Sea Song at the Cloaked Stranger. With a swift motion, you unsling your water lute and strum the strings, evoking a haunting melody that calls upon the might of the seas. As the music flows, water begins to swirl around the cloaked stranger, shimmering in the daylight like liquid light. The stranger reacts quickly, raising a hand to form a barrier of ethereal mist that dissipates the water away harmlessly. I ask the stranger what his name is. You lower your lute slightly, curiosity piqued by the stranger's presence and abilities. What is your name, if I might ask, you inquire, your voice carrying the smooth undertones of your bardic training. The stranger offers a slight nod, a hint of a smile playing at the corners of his mouth. I am known as Elowin, oh. he responds, a seeker of knowledge and keeper of the whispers of the woods. It is said one must tread carefully here for the trees hold memories and secrets. With Elowin now by your side, you set your sights on reaching the nearest town, Rivet Dale, 
a bustling hub nestled at the far edge of the whispering woods. As you tread through the oh. ancient forest, sunlight Same streams part. through the canopy above, casting dappled patterns on the ground, and the path gradually becomes more defined. The gentle babbling of a hidden brook accompanies you, a reminder of your magic source. I make my way towards the nearest shop so we can buy some supplies to fight the dragon. With a purposeful stride, you and Elowen make your way down the bustling main street of Rivet Dale towards a shop with a sign that reads Bauble and Gear Emporium. The shop, a blend of polished wood and brass mechanisms, Ooh. offers a variety of supplies, ranging from standard adventuring gear to peculiar steampunk contraptions. I run out of the shop and towards the mountains to fight the dragon. Your decision to head directly to the Ashen Mountains, that hulking presence rising in the horizon, reflects both your bravery and willingness to face untold dangers without the powerful dragon's fang. I'm gonna play as an athletic monk with the power to shout Fuse for da and make my enemies fall backwards. A skilled athletic monk with the legendary shout of Fuss Ro Da. An impressive choice. Let's do a cyberpunk version of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, what will be your quest or goal in this vibrant, lawless world? Are you searching for a lost relic of ancient technology? Or perhaps you aim to overthrow a corrupt conglomerate ruling over the skies? Trying to search for a legendary VR headset. You're on a quest to find a legendary VR headset rumored to grant unparalleled control over reality itself. The neon serpent hums with energy as it slices through the glistening digital oh, waves of the virtual sea. <laughs> Neon lights flicker off the ship's chrome surface, casting an iridescent glow that dances across the deck. As the athletic monk, your past weighs heavily on your shoulders, but your disciplined stance never falters. You're oh. known for your ability to unleash fuss ro da <laughs> with few daring to challenge you on the high seas. Your quest for the legendary VR headset looms larger each day. At the bow of the ship stands Captain Technobeard, a cyborg with a scraggly neon blazed beard and an uncanny knack for navigating both treacherous waters and data streams. Your target today is the ship of a rival pirate lord, filled with treasures and vital information. Amidst the electrifying buzz of impending battle, the air crackles with potential, choice, and risk. Ooh, okay, let me check. Let's see, inventory, starter cyber deck. Ooh. Oh, it changed. Now it's bio mods instead of magic. <laughs> Powerful shout. Ooh, boosted up. <laughs> Powerful shout that propels enemies backwards, clearing your path and creating space during combat. Nice. <laughs> you leap with finesse onto the binary Kraken. The opposing crew is momentarily startled by your sudden appearance, giving you a split second to assess your surroundings. The deck of the binary kraken is a cacophony of shouting pirates, metallic clanging, rival crew members decked in mismatched cyber pirate garb are scrambling to defend their ship. Ahead, a particularly massive pirate eyes you with suspicion, clearly the first obstacle in your path. I give him a fist friend, da. With a deep focused breath, you center yourself and call upon the formidable power within. As the massive pirate charges, vibroax raised, you release a thunderous fuss row da. The shout reverberates through the air, a forceful wave of energy striking the burly foe. The ship's metallic corridors hum with life, oh. illuminated by neon strips that pulse in synchrony with the low thrum of the ship's heart, its engine core. The combat echoes fade as you delve further, replaced by the rhythmic clank of machinery. You peer into rooms and narrow passages, spotting advanced digital maps and storage crates filled with illicit contraband. The air grows warmer and more charged as you approach the engine room, where the ship's secrets might be hidden. Around a corner, the frenetic tapping of keys and the glow of the multiple hacker. screens catch your attention. A hacker is stationed there, perhaps controlling the ship's security systems. His surprise at your intrusion is evident as he glares from behind his interface. 